This wreath form costs anywhere between $3 to $7 pre-made, but let me show you how to save that money and make one for free. You can start with any kind of flexible branch, and you want this diameter to be less than half an inch, and you can use willow branches if you have those, grapevines. I'm using some native bushes that grow in my backyard, but they work just the same because they're flexible. So the first thing we want to do is strip off all the leaves and the side shoots. So with a gloved hand, I just run my hand along and pull them off. Pretty simple. So we want to process all of our branches and the length of the branches and the amount of branches will determine the size of your wreath. All right, now that all my branches are stripped, let's weave this together into a loop. So making this wreath form is definitely not an exact science, but this is where I was saying that the length of the branch will determine the size of the hoop. So our initial hoop, we need to just get the tip and the end twisted around itself so that it forms a hoop. So we can adjust the size by adjusting the length of the branch. Once you have a sturdy hoop, then you continue adding branches, staggering the start and end of your twist so that you have a continuous loop. Our goal is to wrap the branches around the hoop as many times as possible without breaking the branch or ruining the shape. The thicker the branch, the more difficult it is to bend the stick into the hoop shape. So I spend a lot of time kind of trying to flex the branches and manipulate them into the circle shape. So sometimes that takes a little bit of massaging. <laughs> For the tips of the branches that just don't want to behave, I'll spend some time weaving those in between the other branches that are forming the hoop shape to try to secure that a little bit. But this wreath form doesn't need to be super sturdy because when you add the paddle wire on when you're putting all of your dried flowers or what have you onto the wreath, it's going to add more security to the shape. So just watch out if you're trying to leave half of the wreath form uncovered because that's going to be a little bit weaker. Once I get my branches wrapped as tightly as possible, I clip off the pieces that just won't wrap around the hoop just to give it a nice tidy look. So here's some of the wreath forms that I made the other day and I've got a couple different sizes and I am wrapping these around buckets just to try to keep them in a circular shape. They're not perfect but it does help a little bit. So, you know, this technically only has a labor cost because these are foraged. Leave your wreaths around buckets or hang them to dry for about two weeks to make sure that there will be no mold on your finished product. Once the wreath form is completely dry, you can use it for dried flowers or even evergreen wreaths. Happy crafting!